What's up everybody, Roderick here and the day is finally upon us. iOS 13 developer beta 1 is finally officially out and it's got everybody in a frenzy. Getting it installed this year has been a real hassle and it took me hours, but I finally got it. I'm really enjoying it so far. Definitely seems stable. Now over the coming days, I will find out if it was worth installing it on my main device. But so far, everything seems to be working great. So I'm not really regretting this at all so far. <laughs> But anyways, there's a bunch of new features. We're going to take a look at some of the big ones right now and see if they were worth the wait. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is what a lot of people are wondering about. I'm not sure why, because I like to have custom wallpapers, but let's take a look at the new wallpapers in iOS 12. As you can see, we have a new option to dim the wallpapers for a nice dark appearance. And then as we go to look at the new wallpapers, we do have four new still wallpapers. If you look closely, they each have a split down the middle, as well as this new icon, which indicates that it has both a light and a dark appearance. This is wallpaper number one, nice orange with some pink and red. This is wallpaper number two, a nice blue and green hue. This is wallpaper number three, a nice green and slightly yellow hue. And this is wallpaper number four, a nice monotone look. And taking a look at the bottom, we have this new UI for setting the wallpaper. This middle button doesn't appear to actually be doing anything, although it looks like it'll just stretch the wallpaper to fill the screen on certain phones. When it comes to setting the wallpaper, it's still really simple. Just press set. Choose if you want it on the lock screen, the home screen, or both. And there it is. And now that we have our nice new wallpaper, we're going to activate dark mode. We're going to go into settings, scroll down to display and brightness, and at the top we have a familiar look just like on Mac OS, light and dark mode. You just click it and instantly it switches into dark mode and it is a true dark mode. An amazing feature of this is we have an automatic toggle so you can turn that on and it'll automatically switch between light and dark modes. You can set sunset to sunrise so it's light during the day and dark at night, which would probably be most ideal for most people. Or you can do a custom schedule based on your own preferences. The possibilities are pretty endless. You can set it to literally any time to activate each mode. Personally, I'm going to just set mine to sunset to sunrise so I don't have to worry about it. Another way to activate dark mode is in the quick settings. Just swipe down from the right to get the control center, hold down on the bright and down here at the bottom all you have to do is click it to toggle between light and dark mode and as you can see as we change it the wallpaper changes here's the light mode and then back to the dark mode and remember this is a system-wide dark mode so the system has to become dark as well we can head to the phone and look at your contacts all dark your recent call history all dark your favorites the keypad and even the voicemail heading into messages as you can see it's also dark looks really nice go into a conversation and wow looks really good huh even going into the native mail application we do have true dark mode and it looks amazing oh just look at this email nice and dark the health app dark the files app dark the clock app dark although i think it already was dark voice memos dark reminders dark itunes store you guessed it it's dark even safari nice and dark Taking a look at the bottom dock, this is light mode. As you can see, just has a nice frosted look as always. And then this is dark mode, a nice dark frost. And then we also have the widgets. This is regular light mode, and this is the dark mode. Although the non-system widgets aren't dark, that's gonna be up to the developer to implement that themselves. But that weather widget though. And while we're talking about dark mode, I thought I'd throw this in. I noticed that the app store, you guessed it, it's dark, but it's also a little bit redesigned. Down on the bottom, we now have an arcade button although the arcade is coming soon. But something I noticed that's missing on the bottom is the update apps button. It's completely gone. So I found out you go to search, but on the top right you have your picture and it shows how many apps in a bubble that need to be updated. All you do is click on it and then they're all down here ready to update. A little bit more work, but it gets the job done. And then the other big feature which everyone was worried about, the volume HUD. Now when you press the volume controls on the side, you get this nice pop-up, which doesn't pop up and cover up half of the screen. And it gets even better. When you press it more than once, it goes down to this slim profile and it's very much out of the way. And then you can use your finger to move it around like that. Pretty cool, right? Now one thing I did notice is even when it's in its smaller state, you can't press something that's behind it. As you can see, the volume control is in the way. But what I do like is even when it's in its smallest form, you can just go next to it and move your finger up and down to change it manually. Now the volume hooded landscape mode is basically the same, although it pops up on the top of the screen. As you can see, pressing it, it's the full size, but as you continue to press it, it gets slimmer and you can still control it the same way. Although as you can see, while it's activated, it's in the way of the address bar until it goes away and you can click on it and do whatever you want. And while we're on the subject of volume, I noticed this other thing that's related to volume. We have the mute switch on the side. Check out the animation when we toggle it to mute. Oh yeah, and then you can toggle it back, get that little bell shaking, looks good, right? Wow, I'm just loving this look. It's so much better than it was. All right, you guys, so as you can see, dark mode is awesome, the volume HUD is awesome, the new wallpapers are 
awesome. Although personally, I don't use the stock wallpapers. I like to use my own picture. I mean, who doesn't like to personalize their phone? Who wants to use it? I never understood the wallpaper situation. But anyways, comment your thoughts down below what you guys think of dark mode, the wallpapers, as well as the new volume HUD. If you guys are liking it, if you guys have upgraded to iOS 13 yourself, although right now it is a bit of a tricky situation. So you might want to wait for the public release coming in July. But if you can't wait, let me know how it goes when you guys install it. And if you are going to wait, let me know what you guys want to see because I have it. So if you guys want to see anything, let me know and I'll show you guys. That's pretty cool, right? Thumbs up, red subscribe button, social media, and I'll see you in the next one.